I was that little girl who thought she was a boy. Once I hit puberty, I noticed that I was having attractions to other girls. One thing that I did that I thought would make all of this go away was I got married at 19 years old. I ended up marrying a man that was physically abusive to me. I filed for a divorce and then I just fully came out as a lesbian. And then when I was 36 years old, my brother died and that rocked my world. It changed everything. And because of that, I wanted to know if there was a heaven. So I, along with my girlfriend, cried out to God and just said, God, if you're real, will you show us? And if the way we're living is wrong, will you show us? We found a Bible and he led us to the book of Leviticus. We saw this big, bold number that said 18, verse 22, and it says, man shall not lie with man as he does with a woman. It is an abomination. So we knew right there that God was real and that he had spoken to us, but that's all we knew. We tried a few churches and didn't feel comfortable. And then we went to this one church that was the first time I'd ever heard worship music in my life. These words are talking about God's holiness and his love for me. And so I just started crying and my heart ripped wide open. And I was able, because of the worship music, to receive the message that the pastor was giving. And so in January of 2003, I prayed to receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I surrendered my life, including my homosexuality, completely to him. And right from the start, God started pouring his love into me. 